Hi everyone, so as you probably know, the big news is that I have joined GT Factory Racing and my new bike has just arrived, so we're going to take a closer look. So, we've got the GT Force Carbon Fibre Frame. Start off by looking at the suspension. So we've got 160 mile travel in the rear and that's in a Fox Float X2 shock. And we've also got up front a Fox 36 4. And then I'm running that at 160 mile travel. This bike comes as standard when you buy it with 170 mile travel. And the reason that I've gone for slightly less is because I'm smaller. I just wanted to lower the front end just to give me a little bit more room over the front. So we'll see if that works. That might change. I've not ridden it yet. So <laughs> this is just the start. Next, we'll look at the cockpit. We've got one up components, handlebars cut at 740mm. We've got XTR brakes, which I'm running a 203mm rotor front and rear. <laughs> I've got XTR shifter, and I noticed a really nice little feature on it when I was adjusting it for my hands. There's like a bar that you can slide it along to adjust it to allow the levers to be closer or further away from your thumb. Very nice. We're running ODI grips, which is great because these are actually the grips that I've run since 2018. The Elite Light. And they've got very little going on. There's other ones that have a bit more waffle and stuff. Uh, for potentially more grip, but for me the lower profile stuff is a lot better. I find that I don't hold on as tight when I've got less flange is what it's called. <laughs> Low profile. Anyway, we have got XTR cranks on board, 165 in length because I'm short and we've got same pedals which is cool. Now I have got XTR pedals to play around with so we've got a wee bit of movement there to see how we get on. Then up the back, XTR derailleur with a big cassette 51 to 10. Then wheels wise, we're back to full 29er front and rear, which is a big, big move for me considering I've been running a mullet for a year. So I'm interested to see how that goes. We're running the Stans Flow EX3 and Michelin tires, which is cool because I was running them as well last year. And finally, we have a 175 seat post to finish it all off. Foxy post. I need to tighten this up. So pretty much everything on this bike is different to last year. Changed all the components with moving to Fox suspension and to Shimano gears and brakes and everything. But the main difference on this frame is the idler. So we've got the higher pivot and I have no idea how that's going to feel. So I'm excited to try that. Also going back to the 29er is going to be really interesting for me. This um, is the first time I've ever been able to run a 175 seat post. So with that combined with the 29er, having a bit more space to move around could be the key, more so than having a smaller wheel. I don't know, but I'm interested to try it, having come from the mullet and a bit more space. That's going to be cool. The main things that are the same are the tyres, which is great because I got on really well with Michelin tyres last year, so I'm really happy to be continuing with them moving forward. We'll also have Mud Hugger on board and Backcountry Research straps will be on as well once I put it on with my uh, inner tube. And that's it. So, let's go ride. <laughs> so we're at the top of the track, pedaled up the hill and it was mint. And uh, we're ready to try it on a descent. Let's do it. Rude drop. Queen Sam. So that's the first bit of riding done on a new bike. Obviously got a lot to get used to because it's all 
very different but I'm excited feels cool up there and what a spot to practice getting used to a new bike so yeah great start already